um, my kids. They, they, they force me not to take myself too seriously. Um, because they make so much fun of me that I have to defend myself, <laughs> right? And, and, and in order to make myself relevant, I've got to do what, I, I don't want to be a juvenile delinquent, but I, I try. I mean, I'm so heavily into hip hop, you probably don't know enough about it. <laughs> I listen to more Lupe than you've ever heard. <laughs> you've no idea what I have to do just to get two seconds of my children's attention. Um, the, other thing that I've found that is useful for me is sense of humor. Because um, I find that when things get really, really tough, uh, I, can, I can't afford to get depressed because I'm, I'm a lousy, depressive person. And my children don't let me, and I, I use humor to get all my release. I laugh at myself. Um, I laugh at the world around me. And it just makes it that much easier. I mean, you know, different people deal with issues differently. That's how I deal with it. And I'll give you an example. Once I took my daughter when she was nine years old. She's 17 now, so she doesn't laugh very much. Um, <laughs> well, she's not with me, she doesn't. I spoke really passionately, got everybody all excited and laughing and everything. So later on, I'm like, you know, so what did you think of my speech? Was it good? And she goes, it's a good thing they were laughing because you were pretty nasty and they didn't realize it. <laughs> And I'm like, shut up, don't say that. Like, you know, if they didn't realize it, why would you tell them now? Yeah. And this is one of the things I've also learned, that when you talk about difficult subjects, which I often have to do, when you're talking about anti-racism, when you're talking about marginality, when you're talking about equity as not a, uh, you know, as not a little sop to keep people happy, but as a matter of right, when you talk about deconstructing, you know, how marginality and race, racism is constructed, people don't want to hear that, man. Right? If I say that, they're going to say, they don't want to hear it. But if I laugh about it, if I make a joke about it, then they don't mind listening to it. So I have found in my life that my kids keep me sane because they keep me, my feet to the ground, and my sense of humor, uh, which just helps me because when my children turn around and they say, you take yourself too seriously, I know they're not being disrespectful. All I know is that, you know, it's, it's keeping me honest, right? And it's very, very important to be honest. And you've got to be honest with yourself. And you've got to be, I always tell myself, I can't afford to be an anti-racist activist nine to five, go home, put my feet up, and get to be a bigot. Right? Like it's a state of mind. You've got to live your life the way you want the world around you. And so when your children challenge you and say, well, you know, what about all that, you know, power differential between you and me? You gotta deal with it. And sometimes you, I deal with it by buying their affection. And uh, yeah, it works, it works. What's your problem? I'm the mother. And sometimes I do it by actually having a good time about it and laugh about it, right? But before